welcome to a brand new episode and a brand new series here on Sim Sunday. This video on board the Singapore Airlines Flight 24 from Singapore to New York's JFK will be the first in a series I'm calling Ultra Long Haul. The question, of course, that I'm trying to answer in this video series is can you program a flight within Flight Sim and fly on an ultra long haul route, say from Singapore in this episode to New York JFK without refueling, just like in the real flight. What's extra special about this episode and of course this flight is I'm not doing the flying because I don't own X-Plane and therefore I don't own this fantastic flight factor A350-900 which is available for X-Plane as there is no A350 available for FSX or prepared. So my friend who is also a real Airbus pilot certified to fly the A330 and the A350 swears by X-Plane and swears by this flight factor A350. He tells me it's as good as the real thing. So I challenged him to fly the A350 from here in Singapore all the way to New York JFK which I believe is now a real route. When Singapore Airlines started this flight between Singapore and New York they flew to Newark Liberty International and not JFK but they've recently added JFK to their Singapore to New York service. Personally I have no experience with X-Plane. I've only ever flown on the ESP range of simulators from Microsoft and then Lockheed Martin with Prepared. I'm going to shut up for a while and allow my real Airbus pilot friend to get this aircraft pushed back and on its way to New York and I'll come back a little bit later into the video and explain some more. I think it is too warm in the cabin. at the time of recording this flight in early December 2020 this flight between Singapore and New York was the longest flight in the world currently taking around 18 hours departing Singapore and heading in a north easterly direction towards the North Pole arriving in North America over northern Canada you'll witness two sunrises but for me what is most interesting about this ultra long flight is because Singapore do it in especially adapted Airbus A 350-900 ULR configured with two classes only business and premium economy which of course saves weight and allows Singapore to put more fuel into those extra tanks. However the question we're asking in this video is can you make this flight in flight simulator and therefore in X-Plane 11 and the flight factor A350-900. Of course in flight sim you can cheat because you can simply stop the flight halfway through and manually 
load more fuel into the aircraft but of course that would be cheating and would defeat the purpose of proving that ultra long haul flights are possible in flight sim. Approaching Long Island and the New York area, we were well into our descent for JFK. My real Airbus pilot friend was telling me that ATC was recommending an approach into runway 13 left, which is an approach that I must admit has never been offered to me in prepared flying in to JFK. The other thing that I should tell you at this point in the video is the scenery you're seeing is stock scenery within X-Plane 11. In fact the only add-ons you're seeing during this flight are of course the flight factor Airbus A350-900 itself and traffic. Other than that everything you're seeing is stock to X-Plane 11. One thousand. Hundred above. Terrain. Terrain. Minimum. Five hundred. Four hundred. Terrain. Terrain. Three hundred. Terrain. Terrain. Two hundred. Terrain. One hundred, ninety, eighty, seventy, sixty, fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, twenty, ten, ten. There you go guys, that is how the professionals land a plane. But of course you would expect that from a real Airbus pilot. I also thought that it was a really lovely touch in X-Plane to get a round of applause on touchdown. But you never know, that might also be a feature and prepared and my landings have never been good enough to get an applause. You never know. Anyway, before I sum this video up and bring it to a close, let's have a look at that landing again from the outside.
I have to admit that this stock scenery in X-Plane looks rather good. And of course I'm comparing this to what you would have got out of the box in Prepared. My real Airbus pilot friend uses X-Plane on a PC to maintain his skill set between flights. Of course being a long haul pilot means you're sitting on your backside most of the time monitoring systems and therefore you're only doing one takeoff and landing every couple of days. So for me being only a Sunday sim pilot it is really heartening to know that these flight simulators on a PC offer enough realism for real pilots like my real Airbus pilot friend to maintain his skills. So as this Airbus A350-900 from Flight Factor is being taxied to the gate, it's time for me to tell you that in the next episode in this ultra long haul series, I'll be trying to create the QF-10 and therefore a Qantas Boeing 787-9 service from London to Perth non-stop. As a reminder, all Sim Sunday videos are published every Sunday at 6 a.m. Zulu. But of course, if you hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon, you will get a reminder. So until the next video, thanks for watching.